Now I come back to the analog channel coil setting, tra transducers, 500 volt input, uh, uh, but the label is not uh, the rotary no anymore, it is linear. Okay? And uh, the tra transducer movement is millimeters and no more degrees. Eh? The total transducer stroke is 50 millimeters, okay? My transducer is 50 millimeter long. Okay. Then, uh, about uh, the breaker, uh, I have to say that the stroke is still 13, uh, but the corresponding transducer stroke uh, is exactly 13 as well. Because they are mechanically connected, okay? Now I go to transducer calibration and I repeat the calibration but now uh, it is a different situation instead of having the rotation I have the linear movement you see now the position referred to the transducer is 36 mm 72% of its stroke of its total stroke the circuit breaker is open eh? And now I have ready the close command. As before, I have here the measurement of the position in the close, uh, the stroke in the close position of the circuit breaker the actual transducer stroke, the error, and so on. You can see that there is a difference as compared to the movement, uh, the, the, the calibration that I have made on the rotation. It is because uh, on the rotation I have um, an, an error because of all the leverages in between, but now here I am 100% sure that the actual stroke is this one. The calibration is completed, I can quit. Okay? I can set again datum points, but I can leave the values as before because they are referred to the actual position of the circuit breaker, so they don't change. They don't change with the transducer. I come back. Come back. And I am ready for testing. Okay? Now the circuit breaker is closed and I will issue an open command so that we can see uh, the two open commands uh, on the two open commands the difference on the uh, diagram. Here it is, okay, so again, move T2, pop, 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 okay, zoom, have a look, I don't see if it is clear that this is the reference, and here you see the movement has gone beyond the open position, eh? and then bounced back and so on. Now, this is the normal uh, movement, why? Because you can understand that there is a huge mechanical energy in all these mechanisms, and as the circuit breaker is opened, there is a shock absorber, by the way, located here, that is taking this energy and dumping it. And the dumping movement is just this one, okay? Then the mechanism jumps back, then there is a very small residual movement until the open position is reached. You see? So this is uh, the actual movement of uh, your pole. And uh, why is it important? Because uh, if you have uh, an endostroke, a mechanical endostroke uh, against which uh, your uh, mechanism is going to beat uh, during the opening, then you can see it. And of course in this situation there is an intervention to be made because the short absorber is no more uh, correctly uh, adjusted.
Okay, so now if I go again to result, I see my table and I see that eventually the movement speed taken here is a little bit more than we, what we measured before, that is it is one meter per second. And also the wipe is a little bit different, it is 1.72 millimeter, and you can appreciate that given the type of uh, circuit breaker where the total stroke is 13 millimeter, uh, this is uh, a, an important figure. Now I go again to results, save result, uh, and I modify adding linear transducer okay and that's it of course uh, this test has to be repeated for the close command and uh, if you have uh, as in our instance if you have mounted three transducers one for each phase you have to repeat the open and close transducer movement uh, on the three phases. 